Welcome to AccuWeb Hosting Video Tutorial. Today, we will guide you on how to enable Let's Encrypt SSL certificate for a domain in Plesk. Let's begin the tutorial. First of all, you should know what is Let's Encrypt SSL certificate and its features. Let's Encrypt is a free, global certificate authority that allows you to enable secure HTTPS connections between your web server and your visitor's web browser. It prevents sensitive information from eavesdropping, data tampering, and message forgery. It is valid for 90 days by default and Plesk renews the certificate every month automatically. The reason behind this is that you will get extra time to find a solution if a renewal doesn't go through for whatever reason. Let's see the prerequisites of the Let's Encrypt SSL certificate. First one is the domain and its www subdomain should be both pointed to your server or control panel IP address. Otherwise, the certificate cannot be verified and installed on your domain. Second one is if you are attempting to install a Let's Encrypt wildcard SSL for a domain name, you must have complete control of the DNS zone of the respective domain. Third one is there should not be a general redirect on the domain upon the installation of the certificate. Because it would prevent the HTTP validation from completing. You should temporarily remove such redirects until the certificate's installation is completed. Let's see how to enable Let's Encrypt SSL certificate for a domain in Plesk. First of all, you will have to log into your Plesk control panel. In the username field, enter the username. Here we have used admin as an example. In the password field, enter the password of the user which you have used in the username field. Click on the login button to log in into it. Congratulations, you are successfully logged in into your Plesk control panel. Go to the website and domains option located on the upper left side of the screen and click on it. Select the domain name on which you want to enable Let's Encrypt SSL certificate. Here we have selected dmoviepstest.com as an example. After then click on the Let's Encrypt option. Once you click on it, you will get one warning message on the screen that SSL or TLS support is disabled for your website. To enable that setting you have to click on the hosting settings. After then go to the security option and tick the option SSL or TLS support. Scroll down the screen and click on the OK button to save it. Once you click on it, the settings will be saved and you will get a confirmation message that the settings were successfully updated. Again click on the Let's Encrypt option. This time you won't get a warning message and one window will be open. Enter a valid email address in the email address field. Here we have used demo at accuwebhosting.com as an example. In the field select what else can be secured. Check the box include a www subdomain for the domain and each selected alias, if you want to secure the domain with and without the www prefix. Failure to check the box will mean that the certificate only relates to without www prefix. If you select the checkbox, it will be valid for www as well. Next, check the box Secure Webmail on this domain, if you want to secure webmail or email service of your domain name. And check the box Issue a Wildcard SSL or TLS certificate, if you wish to secure all subdomains of your primary domain. Here we have selected all the boxes because we want to secure www subdomain, webmail, and all subdomains. Click on the install button to install the SSL certificate. Once you click on it, one window will be open. Since we want to issue a wildcard SSL or TLS certificate for a domain, the Plesk will add the following record in the DNS server. 
You just need to make sure that the record is added to the DNS server. Please be informed that if you are using third-party DNS service for your domain name then you will have to update the above record from there. If you are using your server's DNS service where your website is hosted then you can check it from the Plesk panel. To check the DNS record, click on the websites and domain option located on the upper left side of the screen. After then click on the DNS settings option. Scroll down the screen. You can see the DNS record created by Plesk for Wildcard SSL certificate. Again click on the websites and domain option to go back to the SSL certificate option. Click on the Let's Encrypt option. Click on the Continue button to install Let's Encrypt SSL certificate. The installation process may take a few seconds to complete. Once the installation is completed, you will be returned to the hosting page where a success message will let you know the process is completed. If the process was not successful, check that the domain name you have entered is valid. The domain name you have entered in the Let's Encrypt request form must be spelled correctly. Be registered and active. Be resolved to your hosting service. Special note. When you create or add a domain to the server, be sure to add the relevant DNS records with and a record pointing to the server IP address as a minimum. And allow adequate time for the DNS changes to be propagated around the world. Let's continue the video. Click on the hosting settings. Once you click on it, one window will be opened. Go to the security section and tick the checkbox Permanent CO Safe 301 redirect from HTTP to HTTPS. In the Certificate option, select Let's Encrypt SSL Certificate issued for your website from the drop-down list and click on it. Here we have selected certificate Let's Encrypt dmoviepstest.com as an example. After then click on the OK button to save it. Once you click on it, the settings will be saved and you will get a confirmation message that the settings were successfully updated. That's all. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We seen. How to enable Let's Encrypt SSL certificate for a domain in Plesk. Hope. This video will be helpful for you. If you like this video, please click on the thumb button. Please click on the subscribe button if you want to view such easy to understand technical videos published by AccuWebHosting.com. Thank you for watching.